Jesus, how mad is Premier League football at the moment? <laughs> it's just fucking insane. Leicester City absolutely pepper Sheffield United 5-0 at the King Power. But not only did they, they pepper him 5-0, Kelechi Iheanacho, of all people, got a hat-trick. He's been banging him in at the moment. Fair play to the lad. Because if you remember, there was a time when he was playing for Manchester City that everyone thought he was the next big thing. There was this whole debate between who's better, Kelechi Iheanacho or Marcus Rashford. Lots of people at the time were saying Kelechi Iheanacho because obviously he was at City and bags of potential and both players were playing out of their skin at the time and then it went so far the other way it was like a seesaw where you just whacked 500 pounds on the one side and just 100 pounds on the other you know just dunk completely the other way obviously Rashford has, has superseded people's expectations and obviously he still hasn't reached the, the heights that people still think that he will but Kelechi and Acho it seemed like he was just the forgotten one of the two and he was just down into Premier League purgatory and mediocrity but lately he's been coming up with goals for Leicester and they sit second in the Premier League as things stand obviously we have Manchester United to play later on tonight but Leicester have a two point gap over United now so if United stumble against West Ham which let's face it with the way the West Ham are playing at the moment it could be very possible despite the fact that Lingard's not playing if Manchester United slip up against against West Ham tonight we'll have Leicester City sitting in second in the Premier League so with all the talk that Leicester could fall outside of the top four and I've been one of those who's been very flip floppy I'll be honest it seems like one minute they're in form next minute they, they're shitting it and then the next minute they come back into form again obviously we can't get to you have to be level headed in these sort of situations you know you can't be too high when the highs are high and you can't be too low when the lows are low we have to put this into perspective this is Sheffield United to be honest with you in the game Sheffield weren't performing too badly to a certain extent up to a certain point Leicester really got a foothold in the game the first goal was very well worked if you're prone to playing FIFA then you'll be aware of the Fraser sweaty goal that is what Leicester pulled off of the first one it was Vardy into Iheanacho a tap in made it 1-0 that was the scoreline going into half time it was only 1-0 so Sheffield weren't doing too badly considering they were without a proper manager Iosi Perez in the 64th minute a very very good finish it was one of those where he shifts it onto his right foot says here he shoots there type of thing he goes across himself diagonally probably the best of the lot if we're honest and then Kelechi Iheanacho gets a second very well worked great pass from Jamie Vardy and Kelechi just slams it into the back of the net and then he gets his hat-trick goal which caught Sheffield by surprise because he shifts it onto his left foot and they just allow him loads of time and from about 25 yards he just pings it on his left foot and then Jamie Vardy goes to get his goal it's not going to go down as his goal and in my opinion it definitely isn't his goal it's not going in Ethan Ampadu puts into the back of his own net it is going to be an own goal for me 100% it's not going to go down as a Vardy goal in the end when you look at the stats it's 71% possession to Leicester 19 goal attempts 19 shots on goal absolutely peppered the Sheffield goal the only criticism I can have of Leicester in this game is that they didn't score eight or nine <laughs> you know they didn't save Hampton them. As I said, in the game, Sheffield didn't do too badly in the first half, but second half, Leicester just completely took the reins and peppered them. It was a brilliant performance. Kelechi and Acho is bow down to the new king yeah because that was a sensational hat trick Vardy worked his ass off today got himself in some key positions but it was a, a weird performance from him couldn't finish his dinner stellar performance from Leicester is one that puts him second in the table as things stand so Manchester United is down to you next up we have the North London derby I'm quite hyped I, I don't usually get hyped for derbies but this is one that I'm interested to see yeah I'll be back for him as always yeah as always back for every game so I'll see you in a bit ta -ra.